Hi, it's Mitz. How are you? Happy New Year. I'm here and I'm going to do, or I'm going to try and do a journal setup and journal and planner setup for 2022. I did a brief explanation of what I will be using for the new year, but I haven't really done a setup video. So if you're interested in me chatting through uh, what I will be using, I will link that up somewhere down here, uh, down below in the description or up here in the cards. So I'm still, to be 100% honest, I'm still, I don't feel ready for 2022. I don't know what I'm fully doing. I, I don't feel confident with what I have decided to do. And I think mainly because I've been using the Hobonichi Cousin for my main journal for quite some time, uh, at least for several years. And so moving out of this style and this size especially is very daunting. But uh, like I, I mentioned, it is quite exciting at the same time. Um, I did do a flip through for October and November I still have to edit. And of course, December I'm still a little bit behind. Well, not too bad, uh, just several days. Um, so once that's finished, I'll do a um, completed flip through. So let's, I don't know where to begin. Okay, so for sure I, I do want to use this um, as my everyday carry. This is the Nolte and it is like a pocket sized planner. Uh, I did mention that I want to remove it out of this plastic. So, so let's, let's begin with removing it from the plastic sleeve and I wanted to try and put it into this uh, pocket number seven planner. Sorry if that was bothering you in my sleeve, I just realized. Okay, so let's pull this out of the plastic sleeve. I'm gonna try and, s I hope it's not too, s oh yeah, there we go. My hands are very dry and very slick, so it's, <laughs> well, it's not too bad. So that's what it looks like if you're, if you're interested in what it looks like. It reminds me of the Midori MD or the Midori, yeah, cotton MD notebooks. It's very simple. <laughs> and it does come with two bookmarks, which I don't really generally use. It has a crazy map of the metro, the subway map, some grid uh, paper in the back, just a little. And I think, oh yeah, it has the perforated note pages, which is nice. Um, if you need to write a small little memo or some of some sort, um, you can tear that out. They're perforated. There's three per section. Oh, that's nice too. On the other side, it has two and from with the date. So there's several of those. Some grid, some lined. And I think that's a good chunk of note paper. This good chunk of note paper right there if you need. And so this is what the layout looks like. Um, it's a weekly snapshot uh, look on two pages and then a huge section where you can fill it in however you please. I And like I said, I really prefer to have my months clumped in the front um, as opposed to month page and then weeks and then month page and then weeks. I, I really like to have my months uh, right in the front and yeah so let's see if this will fit in the number seven this number seven chic sparrow here this is the i want to say it's quiet tan but i'm not 100 percent sure but i really do like this uh number seven design from chic sparrow um i well let's remove the I will leave the pen loop in there. I will see if this will fit. Oh, I don't think it's gonna fit inside the the back. As you can see, I don't think it's going to fit in the back here. It's just a tad, it's just a tad too tall, um, but it is flush, almost flush with the leather cover, which is nice. I was hoping to be able to fit this inside but yeah it's it's a it's just a tad tall I, I suppose if you wanted to you could kind of cut a little bit of just the cover part um, 
it's a thick cardboard kind of color so um, actually not well you can see there so I'm gonna just pass it through the elastics instead for my everyday carry I really wanted something simple uh, my previous everyday carry I was using in the previous uh, everyday carry I was using the Hobonichi Techo day free so it would have the months in the front and then just uh, let me see if I can find a blank page here and some blank pages and um, they are numbered so I, I, I really appreciated that so that I could easily index something that I was looking for and I just I just want something just a tad smaller um, and I didn't I wanted to kind of have a cover um, that didn't have all these other uh, notebooks inside um, in this one I currently have I just tucked this in there um, just because this was also an A6 size, not because I, I carry this with me on a regular basis. Um, but I would have my um, Hobonichi Day Free, and then I would also have my pocket sized uh, planner, like the one that was like this size. I think I've already stored it away. Um, and it was just too much. Plus, I would have my little sticker release paper uh, notebook here. Um, sometimes I would remove this leather folder uh, but this one had the pen loop on it so um, yeah I just really want to keep it very very simple and uh, lightweight for my everyday carry and so I'm going to give this one a go. I suppose if I wanted to I could add actually let's pass through the front elastic too. Hopefully you can see that the elastic passes through the front and the back cover and I think that's all I'm going to keep in there. I might keep some sticky notes and page flags so that if I am doing or jotting down some important appointments I can refer to them later and then kind of transfer them. But I think for the most part this is going to be my main everyday carry and um, this will be yeah what I, I carry with me in my bag. I, I do like the fact that it has a pen loop in there. I will just take a, let's see what will fit. Uh, I like to keep like a multicolored one usually. Um, so if I, I need to keep track of appointments and things. The only multi, oh, let me show you this one here. This is the Hobonichi one from 2020. So this should fit in there. This is a jet stream. I like there. Yeah, there we go. I don't specifically like the color right now but I'll have to change that up but that's what it looks like and I've removed the elastic I don't know if I will keep it that way um, but I have removed the elastic you can see the hole picking out there uh, but yeah this is nice and compact let's see what the size different is not much it's not much of a big uh, difference but it's definitely lighter and uh, I'll save several centimeters there. So that's going to be my everyday carry uh, for 2022. So I hope you don't mind from here on out it will be a voiceover. I am going to now show you my Hobonichi Weeks. I've been using the Hobonichi Weeks uh, last year to document more of a personal level uh, to my kids. I would also uh, journal about or journal to them and uh, certain things that I wanted to keep track uh, throughout the day or throughout the week and so that's what I will do with this year as well with 2022 I want to continue the Hobonichi Weeks uh, journaling for my kids in the monthly section of the Hobonichi Weeks I will document a snapshot of any health issues so for example if they have a runny nose, I will jot that down in the calendar, the monthly view. That way it's easy to keep track, um, you know, how many times did they get sick throughout uh, the year, did they have a dry cough, did they have a runny nose, how long did it last, did they get any medication for it, that kind of thing. Um, and so I've been doing that, I did that last year too, and it's a nice um, look at, it's a nice and easy look uh, when you have it in the monthly view, it's all... Um, Kind of housed in the front and it's really easy access so I, I will remain to do that for 2022 
I'm just sharing with you the close-up of the cover here. This is from Shakespeare. This is part of their artist collection and it's called the Gestaldi. And uh, yeah, I really, really like it. There, it The leather is Italian leather and it's hand-painted. So uh, I, uh, you can see kind of the green bits there on the inside of the cover, which doesn't bother me at all. But I'm just um, looking through the pockets to see um, how it's kind of constructed and so far very happy with uh, this cover and I think it matches the Hobonichi weeks so well with the very hungry caterpillar collaboration. I wanted to show you what it looked like without the clear cover on cover. It's quite roomy I would say the Hobonichi weeks cover from Shakespeare. And I think it's mainly made for it to fit the weeks with the cover on cover on top of it um, because there is so much on top and bottom. But I mean, you could of course use it without applying the clear cover on cover if you want to. I tried putting the front portion in uh, and having it kind of like a folio style, but I really, really like the the cover like I like to see the cover the Eric Carl um, artwork so I ended up not doing that I ended up taking it out and I don't remember if I showed this to you uh, but the last not the elastic sorry the bookmarks are a nice red and green color as well yeah I thought that was quite cute I think I will apply maybe some clear nail varnish at the tips of those bookmarks because they tend to fray or I might just kind of tie a knot um, at the ends but I don't tend to use those bookmarks uh, so I'll, I might just leave them as is but this is what it looks like without the clear cover on cover and like I said I I really do like seeing the artwork uh, of the Hobonichi week so I end up um, using the clear cover on cover, but I, I, I'm a little bummed that the the back portion. You can see there's the pen loop and a little pocket in the back of the cover on cover, and that portion that portion will be hidden uh, once you tuck it into the leather. Uh, but that's okay. The the leather, I think this is the cascade. Folio, I think is what it's called from Shakespeare. And the Weeks version is the only version that has the pen loop. I think they might be discontinuing that option for this year with the pen loop. I'm not sure. <laughs> There's just so many updates from Shakespeare. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, I don't think the other Cascade uh, leather covers offers the pen loop. It's only the Weeks. But once again, I'm not sure if that option will be discontinued in 2022. But I'm really glad that I ended up getting this uh, leather cover. I purchased it during their Black Friday sale and uh, it arrived recently. And so this is what it looks like. I hope you can see the close-up of the Hobonichi Weeks with the clear cover on cover inside the Shakespeare leather cover. And you can see there's quite a bit of um, well, I guess in a way if you are a person that likes to use tabs and things that will be nicely protected as well and uh, You can feel confident that the clear cover on cover perhaps some other Designers or makers of the covers they might they might be a little bit different with in terms of dimensions. So um, I'm 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 not a hundred percent sure because I don't have the other creators uh, covers, but I'm assuming that they will fit nicely in this leather cover if you are considering this purchase. I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to measure um, how much leather overhang there is, but yeah, it's. I think it's a nice fit. I haven't really decided what I want to use in the pockets for the Hobonichi Weeks, but I assume I will be sticking things in like page flags and sticky notes. I usually tend to use the sticky notes to uh, remind myself to take a look at the page. <laughs> if I have something important uh, that I want to remember, I will add a page flag and uh, keep 
keep track of things that way. So here now is my daily journal. I will be using the original Hobonichi Techo in the A6 size. This is uh, the just the regular Japanese version. And it is the full year version. And I'm a little, like I said, uh, it, I know it will be a nice challenge for me to move from the A5 size to the A6 size. The reason I'm using this one is because when I purchased the the Hobonichi and Loft collaboration, the Eric Carl cover, uh, it included the Hobonichi original, and I, I don't want it to go to waste, so I will. I've continued to, or I've decided to, continue with this uh, A6 size. It's several days into the new year and I haven't even journaled in it yet. I don't know what's... I think I will... I've done this in the past and I've like over and over again. I usually, before I open up a new or before I start a new journal, I'll kind of break the ice by adding some washi tape and stamps here and there. And maybe that will help. Um, yeah, maybe that will help. I'll have to do that one day. I just, I think this holiday season or this winter uh, especially this winter or this year I just have been so exhausted <laughs> and so tired that I haven't I mean I have the urge to journal I journal in my A5 uh, Hobonichi and I'll just jot down some, jot down some notes um, but I don't know what it is I, I guess I'll have to kind of sit down and apply some wash tape maybe I'll have a fun little afternoon with the kids and uh, do some crafty time and maybe I'll catch up with that during that time but here I am applying the clear cover on cover because I really do not want to get this cover um, dirty and I in the past have applied for the most part I've applied the clear cover on cover and it's helped a lot because I do use watercolor in my journals and because this is the full year Hobunichi that I'm going to be using and not the Avec where it is split up into two I know that I won't be able to apply as many tip-ins and things and so I will try my best to doodle more and draw more in this journal and I'm hoping that will work out um, so yes I definitely have applied the clear cover on cover here is, I'm trying to get the camera to focus, the serial number that I have for this year. I don't know if you are aware of that, but everybody has a specialized serial number. <laughs> Let me know if you, your number is close to mine. I'm curious to know. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to, I've decided to tuck in both the front and the back for uh, the Hobonichi Cousin, or sorry, not the, I keep saying Hobonichi Cousin because that's what I've been using, but the Hobonichi Techo, I've decided to put the front, both front and back pieces um, inside, and I haven't really decided what I will put in the pockets. I think because this will be my personal journal, I will be maybe rolling out some washi tape on some of the gift cards and things, and having a couple of, or several, some, several washi tape sample cards tucked in there, maybe, um, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure, <laughs> maybe if I, oh, I might actually uh, slide in my sticker release notebook that I showed you earlier in the video, I might tuck uh, something like that in there as well, and I will be using or I'm going to try to remember to use the bookmarks because they are very very cute they're um, one is like a sun sunshine I think and then the other one is the leaf and then I really am happy with the A6 Stajiki which is kind of like a writing board um, and it kind of indicates the current day I guess um, yeah, I think I've decided to keep it that way where it's uh, you can see like the paint swatches showing. So that is my A6 journal for every day. I, <laughs> I was looking up at my everyday carry and thought, oh, the Hobonichi pen, the red one, would be perfect for this cover. So I've decided to do that. I've decided to use the Hobonichi. I don't know if I will be using this one on a daily basis, but for the time being, I think it's a nice touch to have the red pen with 
the the cover I think that turned out really really nicely in a fun way um, so now I'll have to find a different uh, multicolor pen for my everyday carry but I think uh, usually for my everyday carry I like to have a friction pen um, because I tend to erase things and appointments and stuff so all right so moving forward here is the a6 five-year journal from Hobonichi and I continue to use the Sojourner cover. I did, uh, I think, change the cover a couple times throughout the year, but I always kind of tend to go back to the um, Sojourner cover. This is going to be a planner, so I haven't really explained my planners yet, I, um, except for my everyday carry, which is, yeah, I guess that's a planner as well. <laughs> but this is going to be my work planner, plus my planning for YouTube videos. I had this insert from Falcon Travelers that I purchased. Uh, I started bullet journaling in it, I want to say last year, but it didn't work out. I do like that uh, there are the numbered pages and then the index section on the back there. So um, I, I didn't want to, to go to waste, of course. And so I've printed the free printable that she offers. Uh, I, if I remember to, I'll link it down below. But if you go to her website, uh, Falcon Travelers. She has the free monthly printables and for various different sizes. So I just printed that off and I will use that for my social media tracking or my YouTube tracking. This I will be using for my work planner as I mentioned in the previous uh, planner and journal video. This is the B6 planner from Muji and the difference with this Chatelaine cover, so I, I forgot to mention, this is a Chatelaine cover from Speckled Fonts. I purchased a shadow lane here that you can see it's in the B6 slim size, but um, this one doesn't have the flap pocket, like an extra pocket, and uh, so I wanted to share that with you with the new shadow lane covers. Uh, Terry from Speckled Fonts has included the extra piece of leather, so you can there's like an extra fabric, uh, not fabric, extra flap of leather. It's kind of like a pocket. Um, and so this is what I've been using for YouTube journaling and just regular journaling. This is an empty uh, MD notebook, but I'm just kind of transferring things and uh, moving from my B6 Slim to the regular B6 and just combining the YouTube and work planner in one. I don't have anything yet in the zipper pouch. I do have a couple of charms kind of dangling out. But yeah, I wanted to show you uh, the, you can see it says bullet journal. So it's it's not really a bullet journal. I guess it's kind of like a hybrid where I printed out the free printables. I cut out the calendar and just kind of glue them on the pages so that I don't waste the notebook. And hopefully that will work. If not, that's okay. Um, don't feel like you have to, if something is not working, it's okay to change it. <laughs> Right, so that's the top view of my B6 work planner. Here is an honorable mention because I don't think I'll be using it on a daily basis. This is in the A6 size. It is a Taroko Design um, A6 Tomoe River journal and I want to say that it's called Enigma but I'm not 100% sure. Um, it just has some blank grid pages and uh, that's the Taroko Design there. I think um, I'll, I'll leave it I'll leave the Etsy link down below. But this version of the A6 journal was part of their like B grade or something was wrong with it. Um, it I didn't, I couldn't find what, what, what it was, but um, I started using it. Actually, I broke it. I broke it in <laughs> at one of the meetups. We had a nice little meetup um, and uh, Amanda Two Cups Travels visited Japan and we were able to meet up and it was so nice to finally just meet up with everybody uh, and the food was absolutely delicious as well. So um, yeah, uh, they actually broke it in for me uh, with their sweet little comments. So I will continue to use that throughout the year because I don't believe my A6 Hobonichi will be able to hold all of my journaling um, so I think I will use those in conjunction with each other. Then I have my everyday carry on the pocket there on the side. I have my A6 um, 
every day, 365 five-year journal from Hobonichi as well. And yeah, that's I think that's pretty much it for this video. Um, that's my old everyday carry that I'll have to store away. And then of course my Hobonichi cousin, I need to uh, do a flip through of that. But the pink Hobonichi weeks is my last year, last year's version, so I'll have to store that one away as well. And this one I'm almost finished with all of my journaling. And then I'll do a nice little flip through for you. I did do a flip through of November. So I will probably edit that and then I'll do a whole year flip through and uh, share with you my, my pages. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't remember what I was um, discussing, but uh, because of this is a voiceover. Here are my journals and planners for this year. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Oh yes, I did end up um, adding in, in a clip later on in the video. Um, it shares with you, let me see if I can find the clip here. All right, so I found the clip. This is the Teto A6 notebook and this is kind of like a really quick scratch pad of notes and things that I want to remember. I used this last year. Um, to keep track of my days and I would refer to it would refer to it uh, when I'm journaling in my journal so I will continue to use this notebook as well all right if you have any questions like I said please let me know I yeah I'm curious to know what you are going to be using for your main planner and journal uh, for 2022 um, I think like I said it's it's already been several days into the new year and I still haven't really set everything up. <laughs> I haven't transferred my information from my older planners to the new planners and I'm just a little bit tired I think and that's okay there's no need to rush um, as long as I don't miss any appointments and things I just want to kind of relax and enjoy my holiday the winter holiday to the fullest so I'm going to relax and have my uh, rest and uh, rest and fun with my kids for the remainder of the holiday season and I will be back in full force in a couple days. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so so much for your support. I hope you have a fantastic wonderful 2022 and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.